Hey guys, welcome to another installation of Sophia Tuesdays. So this weekend was relatively, no, I was going to say low-key, but that's a lie. Um, Saturday through part of Sunday, I was at Boston University visiting my friend. And it was the Celtics game, Saturday night, and if you don't know the outcome, then shame on you. All of you should be watching Boston sports, because they're pretty much the best. Uh, the Celtics won Game 7 of the NBA playoffs. I knew they were going to win. It was just stressful, the fact that we were playing the lowest seeded team and it had to go to seven games, but we won. Come on, come on, come on! Wait! Yes! Oh! It's the ball, like, as far as all the U.S. summer. And it goes in there, you get a technical. No way! And if you hang from the rim for more than three seconds, you get a technical. Because you're showing off. Also, at my stay, I saw some interesting people. Apparently, East Quad is not the only place in the world that has such characters that we all have come to know and love. Um, at around 4 in the morning, when a bunch of us were sitting in a common room, this person kept walking by in his boxers to the bathroom and back and he did this several times so luckily I had my camera handy and you probably don't think I did it but I went there the problem is with the converter oh. and again that crossover where Addison came back and they were doing, they were doing that like after watching those clips again I just noticed that he even had time to change his boxers between pacing around the dorm. So we also exchanged some hilarious FML stories, of course, because no night is complete without one. By the way, this is an FML story. Yeah, by the way, okay. Hi, I'm Angela. I don't really know you people. Okay, whatever. Pink Eye. Oh yeah, we're talking about Pink Eye. Okay, so anyway, there's this FML where, like, this guy's like, okay, so today my roommate's mouth was open, and I thought it would be, and he was sleeping, and I thought it would be really funny to just, um, farted his mouth. Mm -hmm. First of all, you're in college. Like, <laughs> when is it on. ever a good idea well, to fart have, into someone's like, mouth? <laughs> who, who thinks of these things? Second um, of all, I you can fart, okay. If we were on Wait, speaking, yeah, nobody speaking of who would think of these things, remind me to tell you a story about Burt Reynolds. Okay. Please, uh, please remind uh, me to okay, tell you a story. I like okay. the direction of this <laughs> um, Anyway, so. It's pretty so great. So basically, um, f and he also feels it necessary to pull down his pants when he farts in this person's mouth because like obviously Just you can't Just farting is fart. not enough. You can't, yeah, you can't smell a fart through your pants. Anyway, so he's like, all right. Yeah, okay, so, I wouldn't go that far. So I, so, so I like, you know, pull down my pants so I fart in his mouth and... Um, did, no, he sorry, no. did he shark? Did he shark? Oh my oh god! He <laughs> sharted at me! Wow. Guys, and just be aware that my dad watches this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm kidding. You think I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Mr. Rose. That Rose is the nastiest thing I've ever had. But anyway. <laughs> So, so yeah, so his roommate wo obviously wakes up. Actually, like, the way it ended was his mouth. mouth and, um, beat and, him until and he like, bled? So he's like, yeah. I don't he's really. Like, and then my roommate beat me till I bled. And I'm like, yeah, I would have done that too. I'm sorry. If you poop in my mouth, I, I don't even know. <laughs> then later on in the night, everyone made fun of me and the way that I talk, which I've become pretty used to. I said the word museum, and everyone thought that I... At first, they didn't even understand what I said. So I had to say it again. And they just kept laughing at me, and laughing at me, and laughing at me, at which point I got really embarrassed, and I didn't want to say it anymore. So now I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to avoid that word for the rest of my life. Which means I can never go to the art blank anymore, because people will make fun of me. The only other thing I did this weekend was have a job interview, which technically was today and is no longer the weekend, but since I've been home, the days of the week have pretty much all congealed into one massive weekend. I took the train downtown and went to my interview and I tried to get some footage of downtown uh, since I got there early but it's kind of crappy so I'll have to do a better job next time when I get the chance. So roll the footage! This is especially for Charlie. There are a ton of pigeons here right now. 
all over here. They're really mean too, and they're they're kind of like the the Dyak squirrels, I guess, in the fact that they're practically domesticated. So I'm just standing here talking to myself right now. That is the state house. Um, it's got a oh god, god, sorry. Um, it's got a gold dome on it, and someone just totally thought I was taking a picture instead of a video. No big deal. So I ended up getting a job. So for the next two months, or however long we'll be working there, five days a week, I get to spend eight hours a day walking around and basically lobbying for the slowing down of climate change and getting people all excited about contacting their officials and telling them how they feel about stuff. And for that, I'll be paid 8 to $10 an hour, which is not that bad. I'm a little nervous because I'm basically becoming the person who I avoided on the Diag for this entire year. But we'll just have to see how this goes. Not to mention by tomorrow, I have to memorize a sheet of paper of things I'm supposed to say to people when I approach them. It's basically like, hello, my name is blank, and I'm from blah, 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 blah. So, I should probably do that soon, because I have to be there at noon. I really don't have much else to say other than the fact that I apparently registered for a Hebrew class for people who are not complete beginners. So, good for me. I'm awesome and smart and all of the above. Hopefully I'll have lots to tell you on Saturday about my new job and things of that nature. But for now, I have to go do my homework. I miss you guys a lot, and, um, yeah.